Hi everybody, today we're in the compounding lab and I'm going to show you how to use an electronic balance. As you can see, I've set up my work area. I have the electronic balance in the middle. I have my ingredient that I'm going to be weighing. Today I'm actually just using lactose for our demo. I have a weigh boat. You could either use a weigh boat or weigh paper, appropriate to the size that you're weighing. And I also have out a spatula. Over here on the other side, I've also pulled out some paper towels. I've sprayed one with some alcohol, and I have some extra alcohol just sitting to the side. That way, if we have any spills, we have everything that we need with us and beside us that we don't have to leave the spill unattended to go and get the materials to clean it up. Our balance is just here on the table. We always want to make sure when we're using any of the balances in the lab that they're placed on a secure level surface. Unfortunately, some surfaces look level, but they aren't always going to be level. And the way that you can tell that is by using the leveling uh, button that's on the center of the balance. If I just lift this up, you'll be able to see it easier. You can actually see right now that there's a little air bubble, and it's up to the top right-hand corner on the spirit level. We want to make sure that that leveling bubble is actually going to be in the center of the black circle. If I just zoom back out for a minute, there are feet that are on the bottom of the balance. Because this bubble is on the top uh, right-hand corner, I have to use the back right-hand leg on the balance in order to get the bubble where it needs to be. So I'm just going to be rotating this foot a little bit to get the bubble back into the center of that black circle, and then that way we know that the balance is level as it should be. So now that I've done that, you can actually see that the bubble is now in the center of the circle, we're level, and we'd be ready to start. So I'll just pan back out for a minute. We can now turn on our balance. Once we turn on the power, you'll see that it lights up on the display. It's going to flash a series of numbers. And then it will show 0 0.000 grams. That third digit will sometimes fluctuate a little bit. It may go 0 0.001, 0 0.002, etc. But as long as it's actually at 0 0.00, that third digit fluctuating isn't anything to worry about. What we actually have now is a balance of zero on our pan. We have nothing on there. In order to go to our next step, which is adding on the weigh boat, we can then add the weigh boat. You'll see that it now adds a weight of approximately 2.08 grams. So the weigh boat is now adding weight to the pan. We don't want to take into the account the amount of the weigh boat or the weight of the weigh boat when we're weighing out our product. So we now have to zero the scale again to store the boat's memory in the memory of the balance. In order to do that, again, we just have to hit the zero button. That's just to tear it. And again, it will go to zero. Again, that third digit may fluctuate a little bit, but that's okay, nothing to worry about. We could then go ahead and start weighing out our product. So again, for today's demo, we're just going to be using lactose. And we can go ahead and start adding the lactose to our pan using our spatula. A little bit compromised for this step because I have one hand. So rather than using the spatula, I may have to pour some of our product on. I'll just have to do so very carefully. In practice, your spatula is best to use. So if I pour this on, we can see that we now have 3.167. I don't have enough. I need to add a little more. we've now added too much. We're now at 7.09 approximately grams. So now we actually have to remove some because we've added on too much to our pan. So you can again just use your spatula. I'm going to scoop that back into the original container, just being careful not to spill. Use the spatula again, scoop off a little bit more. We're getting closer, we're now at 5.89. That back into the original container, careful not to spill. And we'll remove a little bit more again. We're now at 5.28. Again, just put it back into the original container. And you just continue this step as many times as necessary until we get to a weight of five. You'll now notice that the amount that I've removed, I've taken off a little bit too much, but I'm close, I'm at 4.82. Rather than putting all of this that's on my spatula back into the original container, what I can do at this point is just lightly tap the spatula so that a little bit goes back in and that will hopefully get us close to five, and at five we can then stop. I'm gonna tap a little bit more. 4.95, getting very close. Four point nine nine, very close again. 
couple more little grains here and we should be good. There we go, 5.00. And again, that third digit will slightly fluctuate, but if we look at that, that's still 5 grams. So 5.006 would still be equivalent and could be signed off as 5 grams by your instructor. You could then take your spatula. Again, just make sure that you wipe it off. That's not considered to be thoroughly clean. You'll still have to clean it in the sink with some soap and water, but you can wipe that off and set it aside. Before you call your instructor for a check, always make sure again, put your lid on your container. That way when they pick it up to check the name of the product, manufacturer, expiry date, lot number, etc., they won't end up spilling anything because they can hold it by the lid and tilt the container without having any risk of spills. So always make sure that your lids are on tight. You would then call over your instructor again for a check of your ingredient. If you were trying to weigh out five grams, they would look on here, make sure that your calculations and so on were correct, and that you have the right product, the right weight, the right measure, etc., all on your scale. So you're actually ready to go. Again, this will actually conclude this week's video for the uh, use of the electronic balance. Thanks, everybody.